of Star Wars set 75092 Naboo Starfighter. It's a 2015 release, comes with three minifigures, three battle droids, and one R2-D2. It has 442 pieces and goes for about 50 US dollars. This is the review of LEGO Star Wars Naboo Starfighter set 75092. It goes for about 50 US dollars. Now you got a good amount of figures here. Obi-Wan Kenobi here is the first one. He's got the good torso. He's got the little braid showing on the front and he's got two facial expressions. Kind of worried and mad. He doesn't look too happy on either one of these. The metallic hilt looks really nice on this lightsaber. As opposed to the old ones that had that kind of silver look. This one's a little more subtle. He's got the standard cape you would get with most of these types of figures, and his back torso detail is also nice. Anakin here, he's got his little short stumpy legs that the little hobbit and short people have in the LEGO series. He's got a worried and happy facial expression because he doesn't realize he's going to become one of the most evil villains in the universe and mostly a robot. But the back of his torso looks nice also. He's got the little satchel packs showing. He has no detail on his legs, which you would tend to expect on short legs. And he's got the little helmet that he jacked from this Naboo Starfighter man, who's pretty mad, as you can see. He's been working most of his life towards this, I'm sure this little kid just ruined his entire operation. But the burgundy, the tan, and the brown all look nice together. It really fits the full overall look. R2-D2 looks great. The metallic looks really nice on the helmet, well, if you want to call it that, the head, and his body. He's got good front and back on the head itself. On the body, he's only got it on the front, but that's all you'd expect anyway, and it looks awesome. Here, he can just, you know, drive off as usual. The battle droids here look nice. They really haven't changed much since 1999. Here you have one that's a little bit of higher commander. He's got a different coloring than the other standard grunts, but overall, they look really good. The destroyer droid here has a really nice setup. I really like the way they were clever about the guns and the binoculars for the shooters and the triangle patterns for the back along with the finger pieces that are usually used with a lot of these mech sets in these newer series. As you can see here, he's got good articulation in the neck and the arms and everything. You can move the legs and everything. So overall, you really could fold him up as like he would normally look when they're rolled up in their little ball form when they roll around in episode one and attack things. And, you know, it's not perfectly spherical, but it could do the job if you're just messing around anyway. You get 19 spare parts with the set looks pretty good. The Naboo Starfighter itself looks awesome. Compared to the last few rounds and ways they've designed this over the years, this is the best looking one in my opinion. I think objectively it is better overall anyway. You've got really sleek design on the sides here. You hardly have any studs showing except for the top of the wings, which is what you'd expect. The stand here is really nice too. It's all flat pieces, 
so you don't have actually any sticking to it with studs at all. It just sits here, but the way it's set up, the back and the front just set in place really nice. It's not going to move anywhere. As you can see here, it's really sleek. It just sets up. It looks really good. You don't have any kind of studs on top. It doesn't look like the old original model where it's just kind of stumpy and blunt. But this one, it's got the long, sleek design. It looks really nice. As you can tell, I know I keep saying that, but I'm pretty sure it's straightforward enough. You got some cool stickers on this one too. You do get a lot of stickers, but they do look nice. Here is a front and back view so you can see how sleek it is overall. These are all the accessories that come with the set, which make it really nice. You get these random handcuffs, I don't know what they're for, and then you get this box here, and you take the lid off, it holds in place. It kind of holds these little guns to just slide in. It's a little hard to get these pieces in originally, but once they're in, it really holds these nicely. They're not going to move around or jiggle out of place when you have it inside of this. Here we have the little missile excess ammunition shuttle. You've got these little wheels so you can roll it around. You're not going to have any problems sliding this. And it holds four extra shots for the actual fighter itself. Here is the fuel pump. It's kind of got a nice little really simple design but it really works overall. And you get a ton of articulation out of this little joint with the hose. You can pretty much put it wherever you want. You can see here. You just kind of plug it here on the side, you know, it's just for fun, you just take it off. And you just plug the little top here in the spot so you can hold it in place. The ladder here, you get this little beam, and you can articulate it up and down, you know, just whatever, you can do whatever you want with that. And then here you got the guy sitting on the stairs, but as we all know, Anakin takes it over here and his little self takes himself all the way up. He's like, I'm going to steal this plane because eventually I want to be really evil one day and ruin everything. So. Here we go, you put them in, and you've got this nice brown shade to the tent. R2-D2 slides in the back here. You do have to tilt his head sideways to get him aimed forward in here. But he looks really nice in the overall design. Here you have this little ejection, little Technic piece, that you can use to push on the bottom of him so you can get him out. It's a little easier. Now, when you press this, he goes up and down like this, but most of the time he's going to fly out because his feet are stuck to the piece anyway, and you get him out quicker. The flick missiles on this are really nice because they're self-enclosed, so you can't really see them. You use this little Technic piece to launch them from within. You know, you can shoot at the destroyer droids here. Obviously, they're not going to really move because they're too heavy. Let's try shooting the battle droids. Now, you get all these extra shots, so you can just keep doing this because it's pretty hard to aim with this thing. It's from two sides, so you don't have any center kind of point of balance, so you can just shoot however you want. Now, overall, here's everything that comes with this set. I'm really satisfied with this set. For a 442 pieces, $50. It is a little high on the piece price ratio, but really everything that comes with it, it's got a nostalgic value. Most people who liked episode one are just for the designs in it, not the story anyway. And this, to me, was one of my favorite parts of episode one as a kid. So this is a great set.